I'll answer your question, yes, because treatment and cure are two different things. So treatment, short timeline. I think we're on to many things that are going to help us um, with start, to start modifying the disease and slowing down its progression. From metalloprotein to myeloperoxidase to various anti-inflammatory uh, and maybe even to understanding some of the genetics behind, which may actually be epigenetics, meaning not a gene, but the way a gene is modified so it no longer does the work it's supposed to do to say, for example, take the trash out of the brain. As far as a cure, I would say that's a very long timeline. And the reason I say that is because I am yet to be convinced that any of our findings, uh, which are many and exciting, have been shown to actually be the cause. And so just because you find that something is abnormal, for example, we've known forever, I think most people know synuclein accumulates in the brain, but that doesn't seem to be the cause. That just seems to be a part of the process. And so I think it's going to be a while before we actually identify what is the cause. And there's several reasons I say that. Number one, uh, we know that it's a many years of symptoms before the diagnosis actually happens. So, for example, somebody develops some constipation or orthostatic hypotension. They might go five, even ten years before the disease actually begins with the motor manifestations. So, what happened ten years ago? What, what was that thing? We, we don't know what that was. And so I think it's going to take a while to figure out what was the real antecedent event that occurred early on. And the other reason is because um, it's likely, like cancer, it's going to be multiple hits. You're going to have to hit it from multiple directions to stop the degeneration. So yes to the treatment question. I think that's right around the corner, less than five years. Uh, no to the cure question.